Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alvin. I'm a part-time reseller here in Singapore. And in today's video, if you clicked on it, I'm just going to tell you short and sweet. I'm going to stop using sync post and speed post unless truly necessary. I've been using speed post and sync post for God knows how long through my eBay reselling journey. And only recently, like a few weeks ago, I've just stumbled upon Q Express. And Q Express, which started in 2016 under the Q10 uh, brand, also does international shipping, which I didn't know until now. And their shipping rate, long story short, their shipping rate is far cheaper than good old Singapore Post. So cheap that it boggles my mind how much SingPost is charging us consumers. And it doesn't make any sense for them to charge that much in the first place. Uh, but before we go on to the to what are the reasons and how much cheaper it is, uh, I'm just going to go through with you uh, Q Express and uh, Q10, Q delivery thingy, uh, which is much, much cheaper or much, much easier, sorry, to, 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 to do compared to easy to ship under SingPost, which I've done a whole video. I've done a few videos. And if you still want to use SingPost and SpeedPost, go ahead because they are the national carrier in Singapore. Uh, local delivery is still fine. Uh, Q Express can't match. Other shipping courier services uh, in Singapore are slightly cheaper. you got uh, good old Ninja Van. What else is there? Uh, a few others, uh, I'll put it. Uh, but of course, for peace of mind, our national carrier is Singapore, so you might want to use that for local service. But for international service, this is it. Uh, again, easy to ship if you need it. Uh, I have the whole video done. You can have a look if you need to use easy to ship, which uh, even if Q Express isn't around, there is still our national carrier, I guess. Um, but yeah, for now, if you're on the Q10 website, it will look something like this. The main page. If you want to find Q delivery, it's actually here. The last uh, tab, Q delivery. And then you got the Q next day delivery, which is our local delivery, uh, similar to SingPost. You got a Q quick three hours. SingPost also has it. Uh, rates aren't that great, but it is there. Uh, and then you got international delivery, which you can choose quite a few countries all around. Uh, you can't see it on the thing because somehow OBS isn't showing. But the major countries are there, so to speak. Uh, and United States is one of them. United States. Uh, Shipping to them, it's fairly cheap. Like, for instance, if I do uh, 1 kg, I, it's, it's, it's cheap. Uh, it's long story short, it's cheap. 1 kg uh, on SingPost, if you go by registered mail, is $35.10. Q Express, it's $22.50. It's right here, $22.50. My God. Then, of course, you got. 1 kg to 2 kg frame rate, which good old QSS has a differentiated rate for 1 kg all the way to 2 kg in spurts of 250 gram. Uh, Singapore sadly does it one flat rate, it's 66.60. But QSS does it at $38. My god, it's so cheap! That's half the price, man. So that's one of the main reasons, one of the reasons actually, that you should be using uh, QSS for your international delivery. And this is just a video to tell you that, lah, basically. So, what? okay, you request delivery, you go to the second page. There's only two pages, by the way. That's it. You only got two pages. I mean, there's a third page to co confirm your, 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 your uh, so-called order. Then that's that. Name, country, address, pickup request. The pickup request is fairly straightforward. You can choose the date. You can choose the next day uh, or any date that you wish to for the queue 
guy to come and pick up at your doorstep at your doorstep by the way so that's one thing that i would like to emphasize you if you send by registered mail speed post or i mean sync post sorry you do need to go down to the to go to post office any other post office to have it uh sent but if you are under speed post you can get them uh, to come and pick it up which is more expensive anyway the other thing I want to talk to you about is easy to ship, which is under sync post. You do need to put in the postal code. Somehow, US postal code doesn't work. I'm going to show you everything here. It doesn't work, which is kind of weird. Then, but QSPS has it working. Like, right here. It's the same postal code, an actual postal code that I pulled out from my eBay uh, order it works on Q Express. They actually have the state and the can the state and the city right there for you. So <laughs> I don't know what Singpost is doing now. Like, quite frankly speaking, now got item information, which is the declaration part. It's so simple here. Just declare. I mean, the the same thing applies now. You can't you can't send out liquid. You can't send out lithium. All that nonsense. But whatever it is it is here. And the estimated cost again you can play around with it but you do need to specify what weight is it similar to easy to ship which is uh simple uh, so yeah then once you do you do a checkout and once you check out you can pay by credit card uh, which is again similar to easy to ship but the credit card details are stored in your q10 uh, account which you have if you've been buying uh, q10 uh, products uh, so to speak so yeah, two three pages. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Other reasons why you should use Q Express. Again, you don't need to drop off at the post office. That's one. You can ship volumetric weight. All this while speed post keeps telling us that or me, but maybe I'm the Swaku type. I I don't know. I'm the maybe the the I not I'm not really an expert. I'm still learning all this while. And good old sync post has the dimensions that is very very strict. You can't send you can send twenty kg, but you it's uh limited to length, breadth, and height. But for Q Express, they sh it shows that the speed post and sync post can actually accept it if they wish to, but they can't. Q Express can accept it up to one hundred fifty cm. It's very very big actually, and they can accept volumetric weight. Which, if the parcel is very big but it's not so heavy, volumetric weight applies. Which is... <sighs> yeah. So I can ship heavier parcels, uh, so to speak. The other thing that you are unaware is for Singpost, insurance is only up to $68. And you cannot up it. For Speedpost, which is again under the Singapore Post brand, it's only 150 the insurance. If it gets lost, uh, I guess. And then, good old Q Express is three hundred Singapore dollars. <laughs> three hundred Singapore dollars. The insurance is three hundred Singapore dollars. But of course, uh, declaring at a, whatever amount, uh, is another story altogether. I guess I, I I might talk about it. What should you declare? Because there are variations of some countries that if you the the. the the custom is there. It's, 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 it's something that you need to bear in mind. But you can be insured up to 300. You know? <laughs> and then you can choose which day for the courier to pick up. Which brings me to what's the limitation for Q Express. Which is not many. Lah, I tell you frankly. It's the courier. You can't choose which timing it comes they only specify a 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. time frame on that particular day you are there. You you choose. Lah. So you do need to be around for the whole duration. Uh, from my experience, if you have many, many parcels to pick up, generally the courier guy will come fairly early. If you have one or two, maybe in the late afternoon. Uh, and yeah, that's that. Lah. You do need to measure and weigh your own parcel, which is the same as easy to ship. But of course, if you wish to do it at the Singapore Post Office Center, you can do so because they have a weighing machine there. You can 
measure that because I think they have measuring tape also. Um, but you for QSPS because it's picking up at your own uh, address, you do need to measure and weigh your parcel. So you need a measuring tape and you do need a weighing scale. Lah. Okay, I kind of forgot one thing. Uh, uh, this is post edit. Uh, Alvin, by the way. You do need one more thing which is very important. It's you do need to print your own label. The shipping label. Uh, easy to ship. Um, in Sing Post, uh, the post office, you can actually print the shipping label at the counter or at Sam Machine, which I've done the video over here uh, about it. But for QSPS, you do need to print the shipping label. You can print it on, a, on your own printer or you can buy a printer that I have right here. This is a shipping label printer over here. This I think my wife bought it for me. I'm not sh really sure about the price, $100, $200. But with the substantial shipping, I mean, not shipping, the, the, the shipping discount or the shipping rate that QSPS has, I think you should buy one uh, just for it. If not, use your own printer. Yeah, so that's that. Lah. So back to the regular program. <laughs> the other thing that is... Everything's included. It's, you realize when I talk about the postal code, you do need to include that, and it's included. Because Q10, it's a Korea, it's, I say, the country Korea, South Korea, it's a Korea uh, company. You want to send things to Korea, which I've done so, there's this customs clearance. The PCC number is right there. You can actually, you have to input it. And the various other countries, you also need to put the codes in, which sadly doesn't have it, but you do need to put it under the address. If not, uh, over there, you can't receive. Uh. That's another story altogether. Uh. I need to maybe do a video on that. Uh, yeah, need to wait for Korea to pick up this one. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, it claims that the parcel will be checked, like open up before sending out to overseas. I doubt they are doing it because that would impede or slow down the process of sending <laughs> and so far none of the courier service that I've used like Speedpost, Singpost, DHL have actually opened the item as long as it's within the limitations it's good to go lah, so to speak the only thing that I'm not sure of is whether the tracking works as in if you realize for those that have actually sent to US and to Canada <laughs> tracking stops at the destination country even if you use speed post that one again I'll do another video on that um, because I'm still trying to figure out what sort of angle I'm going to talk about for and if Q Express can track all the way to the doorstep under the Q Express tracking which again is under eBay then there's reason to believe that speed post, same post is kind of scamming us uh, with their price point because it doesn't make sense for the pricing to be quite bad compared to QSPS. I mean, granted, QSPS is piggybacking on uh, good old same post uh, delivery service because the tracking number after it's handed over to Singapore Post is a tracking number from same post. But again, it's quite sad that the consumer isn't aware of this so I'm doing this video to tell you guys that if you want to send things internationally please use Q Express which is under the Q10 brand uh, the tab is Q Delivery la. so that's all I have for you guys uh, I just needed to give this info out because it's so annoying that Singpost has once again failed on their part price wise and customer service and they basically scam me of money I, 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 I can't believe that their tracking doesn't work to certain countries the major countries particularly US and Canada and if Q10 works that will be another video again so thank you everyone for listening in um, do like the video do help to like the video comment below What's your experience with speed posts, sync posts, or even Q10?
if you have any experience comment down below uh, tell us because I also want to know your experience about it and do share this video to people who are thinking of shipping not need not necessarily be for eBay or reselling it's to ship out to the countries that you your friends your your family in other parts of the world because the major countries are all included in the Q Express and it's much much cheaper way cheaper than Singapore so uh, thank you everyone for watching I guess take care and I'll see you in my next video uh, this most likely will be a part one okay bye bye